really pleased to be talking today to Skylar Falter, who is the chair, the runner, the coordinator of a program called Buy Fresh, Buy Local. Skylar, it's been around for a while, and you've been around for longer than I thought you had, but not very long. So talk about the program and what it's all about and what excites you about it. Yeah, thank you, Kim, for having us on. So um, I'm the program coordinator for Buy Fresh, Buy Local Nebraska. We started about 13 years ago. Um, and it was, you know, just through a need of wanting to create more visibility around local foods in the state. So a group of um, farmers and people invested in wanting to promote local foods got together and created this program. And so essentially we are a member-based um, promotion, education, and marketing program for local foods. We're where you find your farmer, we're where you find recipes that use a lot of seasonal Nebraska-grown ingredients. Um, we we are um, there to find farmers markets in your areas. Very diverse, you know, range of things that we do. So the program has grown, and you are statewide. Yes, we are statewide. Um, we are still primarily, you know, a lot of our members are in the Lincoln Omaha markets just because of population right. and demand there. But we would love. We are definitely statewide, and we want to hear and know about all the people across the state that are doing, you know, interesting things when it comes to local foods. So let's say I wanted to be a member and, and said, I've got this product, how do I tell you about it and then what do you do about it because you brought some products with you. Yeah, so certainly, so we have, our website is buylocalnebraska.org um, and we are, if you were interested in joining, I would recommend going on that website. There's a page about membership. Uh, you can read about um, who our current members are, and you can also see the steps to join. You can join online. We kind of do an annual membership drive um, to publish one of our main promotion pieces, which is the Local Food Guide of Nebraska. And so this is one of our uh, featured uh, publications that people know us from this this guide, but we also have an online food guide to search um, products. And so, yeah, on my way over here, I just stopped at um, Open Harvest Grocery in Lincoln, who's also one of our members, to see like what kind of local stuff can I find today? Um, and so I picked up some mushrooms, uh, microgreens from Robinette Farms. This is from Nebraska Mushroom in Grand Island. Um, so really our membership is, you know, in lots of different locations. We have some value added products. Um, and so just kind of showing, you know, showcasing our members is what we like to do. We have events, we have um, different promotion pieces that we run, uh, ways for people to learn more about how their food is grown. So you talked a little bit off air about a something of the month. Yes. What is, what is that? <laughs> yeah, so another thing we do is, um, is we work with um, trying to get more local foods in school meals, trying to get fresh, healthy foods there. And so um, with the Nebraska Department of Education, Buy Fresh, Buy Local has created a program called Harvest of the Month, which features a different Nebraska-grown uh, vegetable or fruit um, once a month and tries to encourage you know, the food service there to make, you know, make sweet potato chips or something they maybe haven't done in the past. Um, branch out a little bit and try to get kids sampling these things that can grow pretty easily here. Which is really a great connection because you know, our experience with it has been if you can get the children to want it, the parents might actually eat it yes. as well, or at least <laughs> accept it on the table. That's true. So you also mentioned that there's perhaps something going on in April that you do, or one of your events. What What is that? Yeah, so we, um, in April, we'll be hosting a local food showcase in Lincoln, and that will be near the Jane um, Snyder Trail Center. Mm -hmm. And we, it's just kind of like a celebration, like a pre-season, you know, pre-farmer's market celebration for anyone who loves food. We will have samples that are made with local ingredients and we have music um, it's just kind of a fun time uh, gathering before the farmers markets really get going perfect so one of the things we also talked about Skylar is this is not just an April to August sort of an experience talk a little bit about that and some of the either more unusual foods or the ones that you just know don't work <laughs> 
Yeah, so I think one misconception people have is when the farmers markets are done in October or September, you know, I there's nothing else to find local. Um, but really, we have members, Buy Fresh by Local members, that are growing 365 days a year. And so, you know, obviously your meats, your eggs, and dairy are still available, but there's mm -hmm. still fresh greens. I'm in a CSA right now uh, for Robinette Farms that goes through the winter, and we have fresh turnip greens and cabbage. And um, there's also the value added products like elderberry syrup, you know, we're thinking about immunity and things like that. Um, it's good to, elderberries grow really well here. Um, and there's also a lot of, I think, need for more fruit production in, in our state. And so, like we were mentioning, people maybe are, want blueberries and cranberries or more familiar fruits, but some of the things that grow really well here, um, service berries, gooseberries, uh, choke cherries, you know, there's just other things to explore um, in our state and the local farmers are the ones that are starting that initiative. Which is all great information, you know, teaching edible landscapes or talking about it on Backyard Farmer to be able to say, all right, you want a new plant in your landscape or you want to actually grow your own food or buy it from somebody who has for the freshness, the quality, all of the reasons to do it is really what you're all about. Is that yeah, that's just tr summary? true. And I should say, like, you know, when I say farmer, I think if you're growing, you have a house and you're growing food that you eat in, in your backyard, that counts. You know, we need more people growing food, whether they're selling it or not. And urban farming is becoming more popular. And um, it's, it's just a great way to engage more with your food and get the, the best health and best quality. Perfect. And this is the time of year to start thinking about that. Buy those seeds. Yeah. Think about those plants. If you are a local farmer and you don't know anything about this, go online and look for it. And we are certain to have Skylar and what she's doing back on the air on Backyard Farmer when we start our season. Thank you, Skylar. Thanks, Kim.